Hi, this is Francisco Bujan from vitalcoaching.com. The topic for this video is what can stop you from being fit. What I want to talk about today are a set of power dynamics that happen when you decide to be fit, when you decide to train, eat healthy. What are the forces that are at play which are both going to stop you from trying to train, from trying to be healthy and uh, or try to encourage you really and empower you in getting fitter and in training better. So the reason why I want to talk about these dynamics is because you really need to be smart. When you decide to be fit, you need to put in place a battle plan, literally. Why? Because uh, being and staying fit is really a battle. It's something that you have to fight for, motivate yourself and approach it really with a, with a strategy or a set of tactics which are smart. Okay? You don't just want to engage into this battle with just rushing into it. You want to really understand the dynamics that are at play. And this is what I'm here to help you with. I really want to empower you so that you have all the tools to succeed. So some things that we don't often talk about are the negative impacts that most of the supermarkets out there are going to, to be having on your health. So imagine that you enter into a supermarket, you will notice that probably 80-90% of what you have there are heavily processed foods, very poor in nutrients, uh, you know, very poor in health, lots of additives, lots of sugar, lots of salt, I mean lots of food out there, you know, you go to the, to, you see an, uh, a line of cookies, junk, one after the other, the alcohol, the, I mean, it's an ongoing thing. So when you enter into a supermarket, you have to be smart. You have almost like to walk like, you know, a horse just heading straight to what is really healthy for you, which are fruit, vegetables, you know, you can have a few, you know, some nuts, uh, dried fruit, stuff like that is still going to be within, within what, is, what is healthy for you, but you have to avoid all the junk, all the stuff. The same with fast food. I mean, walk downtown somewhere and one after the other. It's fast food after fast food after fast food. And when you want to go for healthy options, you have to really be smart. You have to know where the right places are for you. So this is a challenge that you're going to face. And um, there is, you know, a battle going on nowadays because there is a marketing hype which is going on all the time. I mean, the average American person is bombarded by 3,000 ads a day. I mean, it's huge. You wake up in the morning, it's on the radio, on the buses, everywhere, billboards. I mean, it's an ongoing brainwashing strategy that goes on all the time. So you have to be really smart and make yourself blind to certain ads, you know, simply don't respond to them and be, be smart in the, the choice that you make. So, uh, you know, the things that you can put in place is really choose the places where you go shopping, you know, uh, markets, uh, health food shops, places where you are going to, to, uh, to find the right alternatives. So the reason why I'm mentioning it is really so that you are aware that this is going on. Probably most of what you find really in supermarkets uh, is not going to be very healthy for you. 80-90% of what you find there are heavily processed and you want to avoid most of it. You want to go for healthy options. Okay? That's the first thing. The battle, you know, the marketing hype, the marketing battle that goes on uh, in your life all the time and you have to be really smart to fight this battle. That's one of the things that can really uh, make, make it a big challenge to, uh, to be and stay, stay healthy. Another one uh, that we don't talk a lot about, it has to do with your social circle, right? Um, right now, if your best friend is heavily overweight, the chances of you being overweight as well is 60 to 70 percent higher than if you have a friend who is training a lot, okay? So I'm not saying that we have to be discriminative here. What I want you to do is simply be aware of the social impact, uh, the impact that your social life has on your health and level of, of, uh, of vitality and health. Really, uh, this is a huge important topic and we are just starting to unveil how much social, the social network is actually impacting on, uh, on our lives. And again, it's important not to be discriminative. This is not about shutting the down, uh, down the door and discriminating certain 
you know, people simply on the fact that maybe they are not healthy as they could be, that's not what I'm saying here, okay? What I'm saying here is that if you uh, join forces with people who are on the same track as you are, for instance, you know, you connect with, uh, with uh, training bodies, for instance, people that are really into the same direction as, as you are, then it's going to be way, way easier to get back in shape and stay in good shape, okay? So, uh, the, uh, the thing that you have to understand here is that the environment that you create around you, the, your social circle, friends, family, uh, are going to have a huge impact. Some of those people in your personal environment, uh, in your social circle, are going to be reinforcers of positive habits, really, train you, uh, uh, help you really get healthier, and some others are going to be uh, holding you back a little bit. You know, you might have a friend around you who is, who doesn't want you to succeed with your health choices. Why? Because if you do, it means that it challenges them as well. Uh, it means that he or she might have to make changes as well because you are making those changes uh, and uh, they see you succeeding so it means that it can be done and uh, when people realize that sometimes they are confronted with the reality in inside themselves that they don't want to see especially if they are not making those, those choices so you have to be smart and identify the people who are going to help you and those who are going to stop you, try to stop you. And this is, this is a very important thing. I can come back and make a whole video just on that, that topic another time. Um, the third element, which is super important to understand, is that you need to own your time. There is lots of uh, conflicting interests going on when you try to be healthy and it has to do with, for instance, the work, uh, the time that you spend at work. For instance, if you have a boss who is very demanding, you know, wants to stay, you, uh, wants you to stay long hours, eventually you are going to give up your uh, health resolutions, your fitness resolutions, because you don't have enough time. You come out of work, you are tired, you are stressed, you are exhausted, and you don't, simply don't have enough energy to invest into that. So, uh, the same can happen, for instance, with family life, right? You have a very demanding family life, three kids at home, uh, you know, you need to take care of them and simply don't find the time uh, to negotiate this, uh, this uh, or the energy to negotiate this free time that you will, uh, you will need to build up if you want to, to train and stay healthy. So, those are three key strategies to answer that, right? The first one is find a healthy place where you go shopping, really healthy places, places where you're going to have lots of options for healthy food. The second one is a uh, fine training bodies, join, join a gym, create around you an environment which is conductive to easily training. And the third one has to do with owning your time. If you have pressures, either from family or from friends or from, uh, from a boss or from your business, uh, you have to be smart with that and really block chunks of time where you say, okay, you know, Thursday night, that's the day where I train. And there is, you know, only there might be some exception in case of urgency, but otherwise you stick to it and you don't let the external pressure, you know, send you off track. Uh, you can, when you join a gym, you will notice that you have lots of classes there, right? Lots of possibilities to, to, to actually uh, train and join in, in some classes. So this gives you also a schedule that you can um, that can help you stay on track with that. Okay, there is lots more to say about that, but I wanted to uh, give you some strategies on this topic because it's a you know major important one. Okay, if you want to work with me with me one on one, design a specific strategy for your unique case or situation, and because you feel stuck or don't know how to succeed with that, get back in touch with me. Vitalcoaching.com/coaching.htm. It's very very easy to have a phone session with me. You can sign up right there and uh, we could be talking literally within five minutes after you, you see this video, okay? vitalcoaching.com slash coaching.htm Otherwise, success to you, stay focused and talk to you soon again. Bye-bye.